Scottish Highlanders, they're native to Scotland. They're either a dairy cow or a meat cow over in Scotland. Here in the United States, they're ma mainly a show cow. And uh, when you see them, most people call them hippie cows. <laughs> the black and white shaggy looking animals that you see over here to the left laying down. Okay, it looks like if they would be standing up, their tail actually reminds you of a horse's tail. And it looks like they have, uh, some of them have a perm. Okay, they are called yaks. And yaks come from the Himalaya Mountains of Tibet, where Mount Everest is located. They normally live in altitudes oh, between 12 and 20,000 feet. Oh, hi there. So they have the ability to breathe air that's oh very God. thin in oxygen. Over in Tibet, everything on the yak is clean. Whoa. Whoa. Almost got hit by a tail. They also produce milk, and they use they the come from countries of Europe and also parts of Asia as well. Take notice, they also have velvet on their antlers right now. That velvet will stay on there till about the end of August or so, and then it will fall off. And when that velvet falls off, this is what they're going to be left with. This is what it actually looks like without velvet. Okay? <coughs> but they are called, these are all males. All right? We'll see females and fawns spread throughout the rest of the tour, but uh, these are all males that you're looking at here. Yes. Is there a reason why the males are here and the females are somewhere? Uh, most of the time they stay separate until it comes to the rut about the middle of October and then we're back together again. You will, once, once we get, once, we, once you start seeing females, and you're looking for white or spotted or brown, once you start seeing females, you're going to see some fawns and there will be some very young bucks, like maybe spikes, like that one over there with the spikes. They, they will be mixed in with the females, but the bigger bucks at this time of year, they stay separate.